So we got that ride within 10 minutes, <clears throat> took that to the A5 and got picked up quickly by a lorry and went and saw his loading place for about 10 to 15 minutes. Eddie, he talked incredibly fast and never quit and long. Then he dropped us at a lorry park, a truck stop, and we wanted to get some tea. With Carlisle on our sign, we immediately picked up a ride from Victor, unlike the couple with anywhere on their sign. They were still waiting. So we rode with Vic, stopped in Scotland. We decided to go all the way with him to Aberdeen. Me and David got wasted on nice Scottish lager. I love the Scottish accent, the hills, the scenery, but it's a little chilly. I'm freezing right now as I'm writing this. Today we arrived here around 1 p.m. and helped Vic unload his lorry. Yeah, I helped unload a truck. <laughs> Shit. Mods, rockers, and football fans. August 26, Thursday. Anyways, Aberdeen is nice. I think we're staying for a couple days. Roses are all over the damn place. Funny Scottish old tourist guide. The latent hippie really into his job at the Youth Advice Center. He turned us on to Jaws, a whole food cafe. We had risotto and cheese. It was delicious. And Darjeeling tea. We're going to buy some, we're going to some whole food stores today to buy some wholemeal bread. It's almost 8 a.m. right now, and we're at the Aberdeen Youth Hostel. It's okay. Very crowded. And they're going to serve us a nice breakfast of yogurt and other stuff. The only thing is the showers don't have any hot water, so I really woke up this morning. At least we took a shower at the Aberdeen University swimming pool yesterday. Even though we've had some cold times, I haven't regretted being overseas at all. But then again, I don't, or I try very hard to never regret anything I do, even impulses. Today we went to a football game, soccer. It was worth the pound 50. There weren't any seats left, so they let us into the two pound section so we could sit since we were guests of the city. The energy at those games is tremendous. The people are so into it. As we were heading, as we were walking up King Street, heading for the youth hostel, it was like this massive migration of Scots towards the stadium. So we decided, what the hell? And we went to it. It was definitely worth it. Watching the people was fantastic.